Hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Anna, and my channel name is Only In My Dreams. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you a order I placed on miniatures.com. And I don't know if I have their little postcard. There's a little thank you that they sent to me. And then miniatures.com. There's their information right down there. And I have ordered things from them for several years. And there's Day Day. Day Day. <laughs> uh, the table might be moving just a little bit. My twins are over here with me. So let's go ahead and get into it. Um, again, 112 scale. And these are things that I got. And some of these I got from the bargain basement sale that they had. So I was really excited to get these few items. I'm planning on getting a few more things because they do have a good coupon out right now. And they also have a catalog online. And I think a free catalog that you can still place an order for to get for free. So um, you have to request that online. So the first thing I'm going to share with you is this frame horse print. This is part of the bargain basement. And this was $4.49 and it was 40% off. Now this is a heavier style of a frame picture because I think the frame is metal. But it's really pretty if you see the horses. This would lend itself beautifully to... Um, any place in a, in a dollhouse, including Southwestern. Now, I do have a bread box that I purchased, I kid you not, maybe 18 years ago. I've been working on this bread box for 18 years, and I put it away and haven't looked at it since um, because of all the moves. But it is a Southwestern theme. I started creating in there, and this would lend itself wonderful to that. So I would consider putting that there or in the man's room in the gentleman's room that I am working on in the big house. This would work well in there as well because it's more on a masculine side and the colors would, would go with it as well because it's a nice brown. Okay, so that was $4.49, 40% off from that price, okay? Now, the next thing that I picked up was um, some really, really pretty um, gunmetal doorknobs. And these are very ornate and they're very pretty. These were $4.59. So these are $4.59. And look how beautiful that they are. Do you see that detail? I'm trying to show you the detail on it. So, so pretty. Now, we all know little details like this on doors, hinges, little doorknobs, um, on, on anything on furniture. All those little details just stand out when somebody's looking at your at your work or at your scenes um, or at your little houses. Um, they just stand out, including molding and things like that. If you create a room, do it without the molding and then add some molding to it and you'll see it just takes it from zero to 100. All those little tiny details mean so much, including molding around the windows and things like that. Um, there it's just the little details really matter. So when I saw these in the ornate, how ornate they are, look at that. You can see it better right there. There we go. You see how beautiful and how ornate that is. These are gorgeous. I had to get these. All right. Then the next item that I got, um, this was on my list for a very long time. And I finally just said, okay, I'm just buying it. Um, this is, um, what they call a, Gingerbread house. This is three dollars and ninety nine cents. It is made in resin. Now they do have some gingerbread houses. They come out during Christmas, which are not in resin. Um, I do have, I think, one gingerbread house is not in resin. Put away within my, you know, my my things for dollhouse miniatures that I need to unpack. But I went on ahead and picked this one up because if the boys pick this up, they can't destroy it because it's res resin. So I went on ahead and just pushed the trigger and got this one. The next piece is from Bargain Basement, and it's for my big house. Again, go visit my playlist. You'll see it there. It's a huge house, and um, I got this for that house, and I'm going to take it out of the packaging for you. This was in the Bargain Basement. It's called the Fairbanks Antique Stove. It was $18.99, 30% off from $18.99, 30% off. So this is a town square miniature and that price was just, 
it had me because I needed a piece like this for that house because it's lending itself to that era. So um, let's go ahead and take a look at this beautiful, absolutely gorgeous piece. Again, this is the Fairbanks Antique Stove. And if you look at all the details, and this is a heavy piece. This is all metal. Um, this is a very heavy piece. You can look at all the little details right here. And even here, um, it's two different color metals. Um, this does open up. So you can actually put a pheasant in there, a turkey, a chicken, whatever you want. You can put in there, leave it a little bit open so you can see somebody's putting something in there. Um, all this you can put things inside of right there. Okay, so then you close it and it clicks. Okay, and then well, I'm going to take you around so you can see how it looks finished. Um, these are the details for the front. That's the back. That's the side. So the front has a larger leg detail. Then that's the bottom. And then this is the top. So the top is providing you with five opportunities to put pots and pans and things in the making um, in your kitchen, which will really bring it to life. Then it has this great little stack and it is sealed. So nothing can like crawl into it and it'll just lay, it's nice and smooth. So it's not going to mess up your wallpaper your wood treatment, whatever you have going on in that wall, it's not going to mess with it. Um, it's just a beautiful, absolutely beautiful piece. So pretty, right? And the price was like bang on. Okay, so I got that piece. And then um, the next one I got, because I do got more furniture that I picked up. And if you guys don't know, I'm kind of funny about bathrooms. I'm not like a bathroom person. I don't know. If I could have all my dollhouses with not one bathroom, I would. My daughter thinks I'm crazy. She thinks there's something wrong with me. I'm just not a bathroom person. I don't know why. So I'm trying to change that up a little bit. I had a dollhouse. I'm going to show you some more stuff I bought. But I have a dollhouse I started with. It was a Halloween, a Halloween project dollhouse. And I'm not feeling it. I cleared off my table. I brought it to my table so I could work on it. I think I'm going to switch it completely to 360. I'm not feeling the Halloween theme. I'm just not feeling it. So I'm going to change it. I know. It's crazy. And I got it. It's so dark. Almost everything is like a gray black color. All the shingles are almost completely ripped off. I mean, it's going to be quite the little project for me to switch this thing around. But I'm not feeling the Halloween right now. I don't know why, but I'm not. So you get to look forward to that that madness because it's going to be like madness trying to change that one up okay well i have um this bathroom set i don't do bathrooms and i pushed myself to get a bathroom because it was on sale um and i'm going to talk to you about something else about a bathroom for my dollhouse miniature connoisseurs here and hobbyists you guys remember who remembers the name of the concord bathroom set that looked like stone that looked like it was made out of stone. I cannot remember the name to save my life. And I'm sure I have it somewhere like in an old catalog or something. And I love that set. They don't make it anymore. Can't find it. And if I even find like even one piece on eBay, it usually goes for like a ridiculous price. Oh, that set was, I should have gotten that set when I saw it and I wanted it. I don't know why I didn't and I didn't now. I can't have it ever again. I just can't have it. So when you see something that you like, go and get it, guys. Go and get it. So I picked up this bathroom set. And um, this bathroom set is just a four-piece ornate bathroom set. It was bargain basement price. So it was $19.99, 40% off from that price. And what was um, unique to this piece was this type of um, little floral decor thing going on here. They also have it here on the back of the bathroom here in the sink it's not anywhere on this mirror though but it's there it's there and it's there so and i like the little knobs very nice so i got the little set it was a good price so i picked it up 
even though I'm not a bathroom person, I picked it up. Okay, the next two pieces that I bought, these were bargain basement um, price. These are called the Nolan side chairs. And I'm gonna take one out for you. It's called the Nolan side chairs. And they're both the same. And they look like this. And um, the price of them were $6.99, but it was 50% off. So $13.98 altogether, 50% off, half price of that. So um, these are really pretty. I liked the print. I this print lends itself well to so many different scenes, times, and eras. It's not limiting you to anything like contemporary or, you know, it's just, it's like a nice little range. I really liked the sweet, this like little sweetheart look to it to the back. Um, again, it has a little straight back legs, but then in the front, you get this great little detail with the curvature in the legs, which gives it a little bit more of a pricier look versus having a straight leg the curvature in the two front legs just brings it up to a whole nother level um, because it's giving it a little bit more of a specialized type of a look so it's just going to look fancier it's going to look like if you cut you paid a little bit more for it just because of the front legs this little open back um in the really pretty print so again excellent price two chairs you can never go wrong getting chairs they're great great accent pieces in any room especially if you put little books you put jackets you put whatever you put a little a little tray with a cup and um a little um dessert like somebody's coming in they placed it there temporarily a little stack of books some gifts a gift bag you know you can do so much but chairs, I mean, I love chairs, especially when they're pretty. I don't know why. It's like, and I love the uh, wing back chairs. Oh, I love wing back chairs. Yes, I love a wing back chair in a dollhouse. So then the next thing I picked up was this paper. And this is a peel and stick. I've never used a peel and stick. So I'm thinking I'm going to use this peel and stick in my um, Halloween house. So when I'm, I'm just going to have to take it. A whole 360 on it i'm going to use this as a bathroom with that bathroom set and i'm going to use this set so this was called the blue blue and off-white peel and stick tile and um this is 539 and as you can tell it almost has like a, a faux marbling type of a look to it and it says it's blue but it's almost lending itself to a baby teal blue which is really pretty i wish that the lighting was in here a little bit better but I like the fact that it gives you these options. Say, like you could do, you could do like half of a wall like this to have this little look to it. You could do part of the floor like this, or you could do all the floor there. So it's like it's giving you so many options and things to do with this peel and stick. I do have two, so you have a lot to work with. Technically speaking, you have a lot to work with, and it looks like that in the back. Okay. Then lastly, okay, I'm trying to make sure I haven't missed anything here then lastly um we have the excel clamps so i needed some clamps um i do have several kits that i just haven't worked on i have them and i haven't worked on them and um i was like you know what i need to go ahead and just step up my game so i got some clamps and these clamps were 2.99 2.99 okay and i think yeah, so that's basically everything. Now, don't forget that I picked up this set from Michaels. So Michaels has their Spring Tiny Treasures line out. Yeah, Spring Tiny Treasures line. I picked this up and it was half price. It was three bucks. And it's Mom. absolutely beautiful. Again, Mom. this is from Michaels. Mom. Hold on, you guys. So don't forget, Michaels Tiny Treasures line do have some items that you can use for 112 scale. So I hope you guys enjoyed this small but precious order from miniatures.com. I'm excited to get these upstairs, get to my dollhouse and actually put these pieces in and, and start working 
back on my Halloween house and changing it completely back over to something different. I know I'm crazy. I should just leave it the way it is, but I can't do it. I can't do it. Something about it's bothering me, so I got to change it. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming by. And I hope that you guys will have a little conversation down there. If you're into dollhouse miniatures, share with me what your current projects are, what you're doing, um, what your future plans are. Did you get a new house? Do you have some kits? Are you working on a new project? Did you find some cool new sites or links for tutorials or freebie printies that you like to share? Um, anything at all. Have you visited one of the dollhouse museums? Have you gotten any new books or magazines that you're really excited about? I'd love to hear about it. So thank you so much for coming by to visit, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.